So thank you very much. You've been a wonderful people. You've been great. Today I was in Soweto. Wow. God is a great God. God is a wonderful God. God is a glorious God. God is a powerful God. Uh, thank you, people of Soweto. You are number one. People of Gauteng, I'm going to visit you more often because you are good people. You listen. When things are spoken, you follow. Ah, you are good, man. It was a wonderful day. It was a glorious day. God was great. God was moving. Yes, doing wonders. And I'm telling you, you'll be blessed. You are blessed as it is right now. Thank you. Thank you for your love. Thank you for your support. Thank you for everything. So, Weto, you are number one, numero uno. <laughs> Thank you very much. And I'm telling you, next week is going to be a Deliverance Academy. We're going to be in Deben. Egomkulu, Getube Village Mall, Enanda. That's where we're going to be. Skala on 9 o'clock. Please be there. Be there. We are born again. 300 random niggas. Wongena. Into each other. In terms of Shinjimpilo Yako, your life will never be the same again. And Gushogwen and get a wooza. A sang and a noun. I'm Saga 12. Next Saturday. It's Saturday. Let's see. I'm going. I'm Saga 12. October. As born in a corner, corner at the village mall. I'm telling you, God will be blessing you. You'll be empowered. You'll be strengthened. Yeah, your life will never be the same again. And also, Masuga Lapo, there is a women conference. My wife is hosting a women conference from the 25th, 26th, and the 27th of October. Wonders. Wow. Women. Wow. Women. When women are getting together, things are happening. Heavens shake. I'm telling you, women's of prayer, women's of our nation. I'm telling you, as we know, there are many things that we're affecting women and children. So I'm telling you, be there. My wife is hosting it. Dr. Tabisilem Som is hosting it. Calm is inviting you. She is inviting you to come and celebrate with her. Bese gutu ngom tlaga tu alaga atle. Tu November en tlaga atle. Aba nye gata sebe mfonela. Bese siye zababa. So besi kona ngom ningi beni. Come on, ozani. Chela naba nye ke chela naba nye. Futi silandele na guma social network. Njeobu wabona na gu Facebook. Fosla ma fosla. Instagram. Fosla ma fosla. Swane na gu Twitter. Fosla ma fosla. Namu this one I'm sorry, you're spun a corner. Come on, and that's in a go, and a go YouTube. So, come on, and that's again. What in just one I'm sorry. Was I born a land to no motive for summer for sure? Send a one, you see, money, some day no water. Bussy Sega again, and Osazo Bussega, you proclaim, and I'm Sanjay. May God bless you. Isaiah was dirty because of people who spoke. The disciples were cleansed because of the word Jesus spoke. Dry bones came came to life because of the word that was spoken. That means dry bones. They had ears. Isaiah. Isaiah had ears. Lazarus dead body. Had ears. The fig tree that Jesus cursed got dried up. 
had ears. The sickness that is in your body has ears. The depths that you are sinking in has ears. As I speak, they are ready for anything. All depends on your listening skill. Do you have a skill to listen? Let me say, you do. Again, it una. Yes, you do. Yeah, buna. Yes, you do. Yeah, bo una. You do. Una. I cannot deny. You are skilled in listening. Una, because you even tell other the story that is not proven. I mean, you tell people the story that is not verified. You shared what you had on the way. Without verifying them, you share it. They were not telling you. They were telling themselves. But you transferred that one. You didn't verify with them. Where did you get the story? But you transfer it to somebody. You tell somebody as if you were there. That means you have a skill to listen. Why is people were talking to themselves? You stretch your ears. When? That means you have a skill. I confirm you've got a skill. How many times have you spoken stories unverified? How many times you spread the rumors? That alone it tells me you have an ear. The matter is you choose what to listen to and what not. Usually what is true you don't spread it around. You spread what is a rumor. On that, we are very good. I won't say we don't have skills to listen. We do. How many stories have you spread around this year? Oh, oh, let, let me say, how many rumors have you spread this summer? How many? You can't even count. I want to did you verify them? No, you heard them speaking it. Are you getting it, people? I'm verifying that you do have skill. You don't need to pray for a skill. You do. Sometimes you look down. But you're hearing everything. You make as if you are sleeping. But you are hearing everything. Are you getting it? I affirm that you do have skill. But you don't know how to use your skill to profit you. I repeat. 
you don't have a skill to pro- I mean you, you don't know how to use it to profit you awkwazi ukusebenzisa lelikho nolakho ukuthi likuzuzise wena today i want you to be an expert and a skill in audiology manje ke mina ngifuna wena ube uncweti ekulaleleni are you getting it amen <laughs> I want thing not to be repeated to you. You just listen once and it's there. And you meditate and be also a skill in meditation. So that it will be engraved in your life. It will never be deleted. What makes you to be powerful? It's what you hear. What makes you to be powerful? Or what makes you to be wise? It's what you hear. What comes first? Your speech or what you hear? What comes first? In between these two. Hearing or speaking. I want to test your knowledge now. What comes first? Are you a wise clip the hands? It because verse I'm speaking about hearing, eh? <laughs> Yes. What can you speak if you have never heard anything? What can you speak? Nothing. Loot. That's why you can never you can never meet a person who is able to speak who cannot hear but you can meet somebody who can hear but he can't be able to speak are you getting it let me say it again you cannot meet a person who can speak who cannot hear. But you can meet a person who can speak. In other words, if you want to be acknowledged for your wisdom, open here. If you want to be acknowledged for your foolishness, open here and close here. Let me tell you the benefits. I think it shall be my benefit of having a skill to listen. Oguba ne kono loglale. When you have a skill to listen, omu ne kono loglale. The wise, aba sagan pile, will impart their wisdom to you. By all rules, selu sagan ni babo guwe. My son, my son, listen to the counsels of your father. I can transfer the knowledge of 30 years to you. And you will be like, you will be wise like me. 
Without you, going 30 years, but the knowledge of 30 years, it can be transferred to you within an hour. You'll become a wise, you'll become a powerful, you'll become a fruitful person, you'll become an influencer by listening. can be condensed in a dawn to a sermon of an hour what will change your entire life what do you need to change your life sometimes you need one word you don't need the whole Someone. You need one word for Lazarus to come out of the grave. How many words were spoken? Come out. Come out. was dark when the world was dark how many words that change the darkness of the world let there be light You. you need one Am I talking to the right people? Okay, let me say this. In the beginning, when God said, let there be light. You remember? What happened? Yeah? Light was there, right? Where darkness went to? Oh. Can I shake your mind a little bit? When God said, let there be light, darkness went to where? Eh? Others are saying, what? what happened? Huh? I don't know if I can get this. You know what happened? When God said, let there be. Let there be light. He didn't say anything about darkness. Yes, he didn't say anything about that. He said, let there be light. What? Darkness was there. He didn't rebuke darkness. Do you see the gray part? When he said, let there be, light was there in a gray part. But where is Russia there? But there is darkness here. Why well, it is dark there? But when God said, let there be, the light was there where God was. Okay, now I'll repeat it. I know you are puzzled. <laughs> Right? Okay. I'm going to say, I'm going Africa, it's on the gray. Africa, now I'm going to say, Abu Dhabi, it's on the gray. 
Paris is on the grey. Nah, Paris la go grey. And the parts of Euro of R R R New York is on the grey. Nah, in New York da la fa go grey. The grey part. Then da we grey. It's where the light is. Ilai kona kono kai. There is a dark area. When, say, when God said, let there be light. Darkness went to the other parts of the world. It didn't leave the planet Earth. At this time, in America, in America, it is seven o'clock in the morning. At this time, now let's cut in in Beijing. China. Beijing, It is seven o'clock in the night. let's come That means in America, it's in the morning. It's seven o'clock. let's come But in China. Beijing. It's seven o'clock. So it is the morning. The sun is shining in America. But in um in 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 Beijing. Beijing. It is in the night. It is already dark. When God said, let there be light, America, it's in the morning. Then darkness went to Beijing. Yeah. Oh. What does that mean? It means, it doesn't mean, the, light, the day is not there in Beijing. But the time, God is cut. When you see me prospering, it's the day. You must rest assured. You must rest assured. What I heard when he said, Let there be light. We were together. But the timing is not together. God, the timing I got down. The timing that we are given God, God is not the same. It might be the very same hour. But mine is AM, yours is PM. When you hear, is anybody hearing me? Is anybody hearing me? When God spoke, when he said, let there be light. He spoke to all of us. But to somebody else. This was in the night. But to somebody else. This was in the day. But if it's a day, it's going to be a night. When I see your night, it's going to be my day. You are my witness. I am your witness. If something happens for me, it will happen for you. It will happen for you. It's coming over me. It's coming over me. It's coming over me. I hope you were blessed by that and uh, God is good. God is doing wonders. Uh, thank you very much. God is all wonderful. God is a great God. And on the 12th, next Saturday, the Saturday that we are going to, we'll be in Wazul Natal, Egom Kulule, Chuge, Nzobengenzi Deliverance Academy, Yogu Trina for this year. Yogu Trina for this year. There will be no other Deliverance Academy. Please come and join us. I can't wait to see you. This will be the last one for this year. Wow, you've been a great person, a great people uh, from the beginning of this year doing this Deliverance Academy. You have been empowered. Your life will never be the same again. And what I want to say, please, as Bonane Kona, Mklaga Tu, Ga October, November, I'm sorry, Mklaga Tu, Ga November, we will be a great town. Mklaga Tu, Ngamba Nopishop, Espimsom, Mklaga Tu, Tu, 
ka November will be at Great Town in Talagatle Hall as Bona Nicona. Please, Nicole Chile and Abany, Gaz Gucci Great Town in Nanyanaga, in the Via Ham, is what you brr, it's a lagale Babanya Vantoga. Please, Bachel and my social network, Magma WhatsApp, Ubachel Gutige, Uma Fosla, Numa Fosla, Uzo be Hamba no Bishop Espim Som. Ha, Hamba Inga Langa, the baggage, Africa must be saved. Life will never be the same again as Bona Nicona. May good Lord bless you. Bye bye. Oh, ah, I forgot to pray for you. <laughs> I can't say it, Papa. Let me pray for you. Father, in the name of Jesus, I release life, I release healing, I release deliverance. I release the blessing of God that makes everyone rich. Let this listener, Lomunto Pegi TV, Lomzala no Bugali TV right now, Yambusi Sekamilga Jesus, Bushus like a Trebisayo, Esnanezel in Tupego, Esnanezel Lucizi, Patricia Trebisa. In Jesus' name. It's a time for your prosperity. It's time for your breakthrough. It's time for your deliverance. In Jesus' name, I bless you and I heal you. Your life will never be the same again. May God bless you. Until we see each other next time. Bye-bye.